Hello everyone, this video is about the United Arab Emirates annual amnesty program, how it works, who it helps, and when will the amnesty program 2021 be confirmed. If you are in United Arab Emirates and currently living illegally, then watch this video to the end. If you know someone who is currently under trouble, stranded and living illegally, please share with them this video. Then you may subscribe so that you get more information about living and working in United Arab Emirates. Let's get started. Almost every year, the United Arab Emirates provides amnesty, visa amnesty, to people living illegally in the United Arab Emirates. This helps them clean up their stay and avoid penalties and whatever may come up out of that. The most recent visa amnesty program in the United Arab Emirates was in 2020, August. Over 100,000 people benefited from it. Some left the country without paying any penalties, without getting any bans, and others could renew their visas, their stay, without paying overdue fines and overstay fines. Now that we live in difficult times after COVID-19 and the pandemic, Many people have lost jobs, others came to visit but failed to get jobs and they are living illegally. It may not be their choice but they had no other choice. The fines may pile up and it becomes very very hard for them to leave the country without paying the fines. It's a bit hard and then if the fines are so huge then also it's complicated. Some people may have fines over 10,000. If you don't have that money not working, it is very hard to come up with that money. Overstay fines accumulate with time and you cannot leave the country without paying the fines. You can't even renew your visa without paying the fines. And if the fines are so big, then it becomes complicated. People end up staying in the United Arab Emirates, in Dubai, in Ajman, in Sharjah, in Abu Dhabi without paying the fines and without having a legal visa, without having a visa allowing them to stay in the country. If authorities get hold of you, living illegally that means your visa expired or visit or residence and you are still in the country then you risk getting arrested paying fines and getting a ban if one gets a ban in their passport from the united arab emirates that means they cannot get a new visa for united arab emirates and it may be hard for them to get a visa to any other countries many countries may not accept them if they have a ban from united arab emirates especially the GCCs, the Gulf Coalition countries, including Saudi Arabia, Oman, Qatar, those countries in the Gulf. Two main categories of people stranded in the United Arab Emirates may benefit from this amnesty. One is people who want to return home. They have been stranded for long, they can't pay the fines, their visas expired, but they want to return home. So they have no other way of going home without paying the fines, without getting a penalty, without getting a ban. So with this amnesty, they can leave the country with a clean passport. And in case they want to return any other time, they'll get a visa without any problems. Secondly, people who have overstayed their visit visas or they lost their jobs and they have overstayed their residence visas, but they would like to stay in the country and look for another opportunity. With a visa amnesty, all the fines will be cleared, there will be no penalties, there will be no bans, and they can renew their visit visas so that they can search for another job and get a residence visa once they have a job. Sometimes the jobs are hard to get, people end up failing to get a job and they have to either return home or renew their visa and if you don't have money and at home there's no money coming, gets complicated. So the amnesty helps you clean up your stay and see what to do next. The big question is, when is the Visa Amnesty 2021 program starting? As the Expo 2020 Dubai approaches with less than 90 days to start, United Arab Emirates and Dubai need to clean up the country. That means reducing illegal residents. That will help in improving security for the exhibitors and the visitors that will be coming in the country. They expect a lot of visitors to come into the country. For that reason, they'll have to make sure that illegal undocumented residents have been dealt with. 
the United Arab Emirates has got means to hunt down, arrest, and deport people who have been living illegally. However, because of their strong belief in tolerance and acceptance, they may not take that approach. Instead of hunting down people and humiliating them, the UAE may announce a new visa amnesty program 2021 so that people can willingly come up to the authorities and get to leave the country without penalties, without bans, without paying fines, and either they change to a new visa status or they go back to their home countries. Illegal residents who may not take up that opportunity if it comes will leave the government with no choice but to hunt them, arrest, deport, and put bans on their visas, on their passports. So once it comes out and you get annoyed, it's better to take that opportunity and come clean. Speculators believe that the date will be announced soon for the 2021 visa amnesty program. And they believe that will be either late July or early August, just to allow more time for Expo 2020 preparations when this whole process is completed. Maybe a month or so will be enough for people to come out, get registered, and then help them go back to either their countries or renew their visa status. As of the first week of July 2021, there has not been any announcement coming from the government or from any of the government news agencies. For example, WAM, nothing has come up from there, so there is no announcement of the 2021 visa amnesty yet. As of now, maybe two days from this video, it will come out and then I'll get that information and I'll update everyone on this channel and anyone who will see these videos. As of the first week of July 2021, there has not been any announcement coming from the government, not from any of the government news agencies. If you check on one, there is nothing there about the new 2021 visa amnesty. So we keep our eyes open and keep checking on the official government websites and the reputable news agencies like Halich Times and Gulf News to see if anything will be announced in the coming days. If you want to get the updates as soon as the date is announced, please subscribe to this channel and hit the, uh, the notification bell so that the moment I get that information, I'll upload it and then you'll be the first to know. Then you can share it with anyone else who needs to know or you can communicate to them. Thanks for watching. Wait for the next video coming soon.